Hello, and welcome back to another interrogation breakdown. Due to the demonetization of true crime videos on YouTube, I've created a Patreon for those of you who would like to support the channel. The link is in the description below. Get access to ad-free content, early access, and exclusive videos depending on the tier. Thank you so much! Today is a special episode because we are doing a collaboration with Wes Most on the interrogation of Tommy Lee Jenkins. Wes Most supplied the interrogation footage and intro, and I'm going to analyze the interrogation. Disclaimer, I am not a lawyer and nothing I say is legal advice. I have experience with paralegal work, college courses, and lots of research. I'm not an expert by any means, but these are my interpretations of the tactics used. This is 32-year-old Tommy Lee Jenkins. On October 10th, 2019, he was arrested in Nina, Wisconsin after walking 351 miles to meet what he thought was a 14-year-old girl. Unfortunately for Tommy, this tiny teenage temptress was in fact an undercover police officer with the Internet Crimes Against Children's Task Force. Authorities say 32-year-old Tommy Lee Jenkins walked for five days thinking he was going to have sex with a young girl in Nina, Wisconsin. This was not Tommy's first brush with the law. In 2011, while living in Oshkosh, Wisconsin, Tommy was charged with two counts of repeated first-degree sexual assault of two boys ages 7 and 8. The boys told police Jenkins had touched them inappropriately and threatened they would get in trouble if they told anyone. The boys also said Jenkins would give them alcohol regularly. Jenkins would initially deny the charges, but he later pled no contest to four counts of child abuse, a reduced charge. He was sentenced to just four years probation and his 360 day jail sentence was stayed, a mere slap on the wrist. Almost eight years later in September 2019, Tommy was arrested yet again and just like the first time, his crime involved two children. But just weeks before, police reports obtained by 12 News showed Jenkins was found outside a storage shed just outside of Oshkosh without a shirt. Inside one of the unit's two kids, ages two and nine, both naked, huddled on the concrete floor and wrapped in a wet blanket. The investigation revealed Jenkins lived with the boy and girl and their mom and eventually admitted to taking them late at night without her permission. Jenkins told investigators he took their clothes off to prevent hypothermia because it was raining. The weather apparently complicated his first plan. A nearby waterlogged tent was found, according to investigators, with clothes, diapers, a BB gun, and a jar labeled moonshine. After being arrested on abduction and child sexual assault stemming from that September 2019 case, Tommy would spend a few weeks in jail before charges were dropped and Jenkins was released. Despite many requests from the media, the DA never stated why the charges were dropped and why this dangerous predator was allowed to literally walk free. Just two weeks later, Tommy would move a few states away to Whitestown, Indiana, over 350 miles to start life anew. And here's where things get crazy. Less than seven days later, Tommy would embark on a multi-state journey on foot, desperate to connect with the new love he had found online. And that's where we are today. After reaching Nina, Wisconsin, Tommy was brought in for his interrogation at the same police department where he was arrested and questioned just one month earlier. I have interviewed the parents of the two young children that were kidnapped by Tommy in September of 2019, and shockingly, I was the first person to reach out and ask for their story. They were never contacted by the media, never heard from the police or DA when Jenkins was released, and never had a chance to tell their side until now. I am taking a deep dive on this case and will have a new video dropping soon because this story is even crazier than it sounds on the surface and despite one happy ending, there was also heartbreaking loss. And now without further interruption, I present the interrogation of Tommy Lee Jenkins right after this last interruption. Thanks to Westmost for reaching out and for the amazing intro. 
Now, let's get into the interrogation. I'm just go back by the patrol office. Okay, can you put the handcuffs in front of me, please? Yeah, hold on. He I'm got keys. Back. Hey, you have a, yeah. There ain't going to be any problems, is there? Did I give you a problem last time? I didn't say no. Do you remember me from last time? I don't know. Separate your hands. I know not to trust anyone on Facebook anymore. Sir, you better quit that mess right now. You're never trusting anyone on Facebook because you believed a police officer was a child you wanted to fool around with. Get out of here with that crap. Normally, I would say get a lawyer. But if you're a PEDO, sorry, you do won't let me say it, do us all a favor and just talk to the police. That way you can get locked up for as long as possible. I should fucking stay down now. We'll talk about it, alright? <laughs> you know, I remember what she said on Facebook. Cause her age on Facebook is different than what that lady looks like. Once again, because you're in custody, you gotta read your rights, alright? See, so you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer and have your lawyer present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. You understand all those? Yes. You want to talk to us? Or at least let us ask you some questions. Yes? Yes. This is the most informal right reading I have ever seen. They don't even sign paperwork saying he understands his rights and is waiving them. Then the suspect doesn't answer, so the detective asks him yes, and the suspect says yes. I don't know for sure, but I think a lawyer could work with that. You have to dot your I's and cross your T's when it comes to the rights being read and waived, and it seems the detective is doing a lackluster job of that. Okay. You got into this Facebook thing, okay? So what, explain to me what's going on on Facebook. Okay, she Facebook me. Okay, yeah. I looked at the age of Who's she? The one that was, the one, um, the one, I don't know her name, I knew it was R.Y. or whatever, you know what I'm saying? As what? I think it was the R.Y. On, online. Okay, it was a Kai? Yeah. Okay. And she Facebook me first. Sure, okay. So she asked you to be her Facebook friend. I think we were Facebook already. Okay, you're Facebook friends. The detective uses the tactic of asking the suspect to explain what happened. This will allow the detectives to get the story of the suspect, and then they will ask the suspect again and again, collecting the differences between the retellings and using that in confrontation. She started about talking about this and that and this and that. What did you know about, this was? Remember we yeah, about, talked about I'm thinking about dating and stuff like that. Okay. I checked the age on my Facebook. And what did it say? She a lot of over, I think. No, no, remember what well, last time we I know, I can't remember the age she said she was on Facebook. Okay. Did she tell you how old she was when you guys were talking? She, when, when the one thing she put, Trump LOL, so I thought she was kidding. One thing what? She put Trump LOL. Twelve? Yeah, I thought it was kidding. The detective does not let Jenkins pretend that he does not know the girl's age. He immediately shuts down Jenkins' attempt and gets him to admit that he thought the girl told him she was 12. The law doesn't care if you think she's kidding, so I don't know what kind of defense he's going for here. Because you're talking about everything else, you know what I'm saying? Okay, and how many times did she tell you her age while you were talking to her? Every time she put something, she would put L on L, so I thought it mostly, she was joking mostly. Okay. Because when I looked to start talking to her, so thing when she Facebooked me, I looked at her Facebook page. Yep. And the Facebook page said she over on me. Okay. That's what I went by. How old did it say she was on Facebook? I don't remember what the birthday it is on Facebook. Okay. She told you she was 12. I, we, here's the thing, Tommy. Is we got notified of this as soon as your conversation kind of got a little to sexual nature, okay? So what we, just let me talk now, okay? What we do is we get tips 
from Facebook and Snapchat, Instagram, all those different companies, right? Yeah. And they tell us when there's a concerning conversation going on between an adult and a child. Okay, so this, this profile, Kai, is 14 years old, okay? And she said she was 14 years old, 14 years old a number of times in your conversation. Just, wait, wait, let me talk can I say something? No, just let me talk for a second. The detective wants Jenkins to believe his narrative that Facebook reported the conversation because it was graphic. This establishes two things. One, someone else thought you were being inappropriate, a.k.a. it's not a sting operation, and the suspect will still believe this was a real person. And two, because someone thought it was inappropriate, then these charges are going to stick, so you better explain your side. That's why the detective is keeping control of the conversation right now, instead of letting the suspect speak. So when we get involved is when things start to turn graphic or sexual, okay? So what I want to know from you is why that happened. Because how she, the stuff she was talking to me about, she asked me what I wanted. Because I went by off the age of Facebook, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying, because she told you that she was 14. But when she, we were talking about stuff before that. And then when she went, oh, I'm 14, LOL, and she kept putting LOL, so I thought she was joking. Could I, could I ask her if that Facebook page was really hers? Okay. Now, mind you, I've, I've had a chance to read all of the chat logs, so I know exactly what was said. The suspect is trying to spin the narrative, but the detective refuses to let him by asserting he already knows everything and Jenkins just needs to come clean. So if you were going to continue to sit here and lie to I'm not, but I'm, I don't remember everything at the beginning of the okay. afternoon been days. Right. And you had quite the trip. Okay. So what was your plan coming up here? She said she had alcohol problems, drug problems. Okay. I deal with that. Okay. Because I, I thought she was joking because of a Facebook page, you know what I'm saying? Sure. I wouldn't come up, hang out with her, try to help her with stuff with that. Okay. And then we started talking about, she had me about a date and stuff like that. And I thought, okay, she's old enough, that's fine, you know what I mean? But what I'm saying... Tell me we're doing this again. Can you listen? I but I'm saying listen. before she told me she was 12, okay. we talked about dating and stuff. And then when she put LOL, LOL, I thought she was joking because the whole Facebook page, because she kept saying it the whole Facebook page. So you're telling me, and you're, not, you're telling me you're not lying, that she brought up dating you. Yeah, she asked me if we, she, she was saying, I don't know how she would in it. But we were talking and everything. Mm -hmm. And then we started talking about everything else. I told her a little about me. And she told me a little about her and stuff. Okay. And we just started talking more serious stuff. Okay. Because, like I said, I went off the page because most people, when they're young, they don't go LOL. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think they do. I'm not, in, I don't really think of that. I would look at a page, you know what I'm saying? Her Facebook page. And that's what I was going off of. By the year of the Facebook page. Tommy, she told you she was 14 at least. 12 to 20 times within that conversation. Well, you saying, cannot sit here and tell me that you thought that this person, because I saw the age on the Facebook, said she was born in the 1920s. Do you know how old that is? That's almost 90 years old. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So you're not making any sense. The detective gets Jenkins to admit that he knew the Facebook age was a lie by using a calm yet assertive tone to get the suspect to go along with his narrative. This weasel is so nervous to try and talk himself out of trouble that he's digging himself deeper. Good. But what I'm saying, not, no, no. Before you start down this, this lying that you continued to do last time, just chill out. You need to start telling me the truth. I want to give you an opportunity to tell me what's going on. Just like the last time. Now relax. Like the last time. When we said we wanted to try getting you some help, right, with some of your issues that you have, this now goes to show that you have an issue with young kids. No, you I'm just walked and got rides from Indiana to Wisconsin to do some things with this girl that you should not have done. Okay? Right? Yes. Okay. 
So now we've addressed it. You have, do you agree you have a problem with this? Yeah, but do you agree that what's best for you is getting help for this? I mean, are you just fucking I just never came back. Well, yeah, it was a big mistake. You came up here to help. do bad things with no, an underage girl. Oh, get him, detective. When he was talking, we were talking about a party and drinking plus. That was one of the first things we talked about. Okay. And I told her I could help her get out of alcohol and the drugs and stuff, and I don't care. I really don't care about the weed, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But the alcohol I do care about, you know what I'm saying, by that. I do. Then I really wasn't really thinking, thinking about the other stuff she was talking about, because she was putting LOL into a lot of it. Okay, Tommy, but here's the deal, is you brought up a lot of the sexual talk. And I can, I can read you the things you've said. Do you want me to read you the things that you said to this 14-year-old girl? Because we're going to have a conversation with her as well, right after this, and she's going to show us everything. Did you see the picture she sent me? Yeah, I saw the whole thing, Tommy. I know everything. Yes. Did you send her any pictures you shouldn't have? Um, before the um, thing? Before you got here, yeah. Most of my chest and the one I shouldn't have, but it wasn't a me. What was it of? I found it online that I thought she was older than what she was. What was the picture of? A, um, a dick. A dick? Yeah. Okay, but it was you're saying it was not yours. No. Sending PORN to a minor is still a crime, even if it isn't your own PORN. Which, let's be honest, it probably is his. Jenkins tries to preface it, saying that he sent it because her Facebook page said she was older, but he's already admitted to her telling him her age and him having a problem with wanting people who are underage. Do you remember what day or when you sent that? Was it a couple days ago? Was it right at the beginning? Yeah, I think it was the beginning. Right at the beginning? Okay. Did you say anything you shouldn't have to her? We were talking about having kids and stuff like that. And different things like that. Okay. What kind of stuff? About hanging out partying, having sex and stuff like that because I thought she was, you mean, know, over off the page first. Okay. That's only going to, you can keep telling me that, Tommy, but I saw what was said. In but what I'm saying, ask, you can look at the page. I either asked if that was her Facebook page and she said yes. Tommy, she told you her age so many times. So many times without the LOL behind it. And then you even acknowledged it, saying that you got you remember being that old when you got a DUI when you were 15. You said that. You typed that out and sent it to her, man. I like said it's time to start. It's time to start being real with us, okay? okay you have to start telling. Every us time she would type something about her age, she would put LOL at the Not day. every time, Tommy. I saw it all. I'm saying that once I have been, you can't lie your I'm way not, out of this. Can you? I'm not. You shut down. I mean, you. I just want you to tell us the truth, Tom. I'm stupid because I was going about what I read on Facebook. I should have paid more attention to what she was saying. So you you got to get past that Facebook, okay? But I'm saying when she... That you continue to talk, and it's 14, and you knew she was 14, and we have to move on from there, okay, Tommy? Okay, I'm understanding. But okay. I was stupid. I know that. Well, we make mistakes. Everyone, yeah, everyone screws up. Ah, the classic, everyone makes mistakes, but tell us your motive for the mistake, a.k.a. crime. Here to talk about that, and you can help us understand. We know you came here. You, we know that you knew she was 14. We know what you were planning on doing, but you got to uh, explain to us why you were, had all these ideas and what's going through your head. So when she started talking about dating and getting married and stuff like that and having kids, that when the stuff started getting all, you know, yeah. saying. Yeah, but you know, our concern is she's 14, and and that's why we're involved. I had another one that did the same thing, and I looked at Facebook, and the way it said that she was 14, and I didn't quit talking to her. So why didn't you quit talking to this one? Because I didn't think she was lying to me when she said that was her Facebook page. So on Facebook, she looked a lot older. And she told you she was 14 how many times? I don't know. It's not adding up, Tommy. 
But I'm saying when we start talking and stuff, she Facebooked me in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And told me she liked partying and stuff like that. I thought I could come back up and help her get out of that stage. Mm -hmm. Then I told her a little bit about my life and stuff like that. Regardless of all the stuff, you knew she was 14. I mean, it, right, Tommy? Now I do, but I wasn't thinking at the time. At the time, you weren't, but you saw the 14. You knew she was 14, right? But I'm saying a lot of people tell me you're different ages, and uh, I really don't think about that. Okay. Multiple and times? I, did, I talked to her about a um, girl last year. I realized she, she was younger. Mm -hmm. When her mom Facebooked me, you know what I'm saying? We didn't think about that this time. I okay. thought it was more true. Here's the problem with that: is you talked about her going to high school a number of times. You knew you wanted to go to the high school to pick her up. How do you explain that? I was in high school at that um, 18, okay. 19. But how do you explain her telling you she's 14? And you wanted to go have sex at the high school if it was open, because that's where she's coming out of. I I knew she was in high school, but like I said, I really didn't pay attention to the age. I thought I would pay attention on Facebook okay, page. What age kids go to high school? I was in high school until I was 19. Here, I'll read you exactly what you said, okay? When you're in school tomorrow, update me how each class is going. When do you want to have sex with me? I would like to do it the same day we get to see each other. I know you'll be, you will be happy. I will update you every day and where I'm at. Here, she says, you, you offer her whatever money can buy for you. She says, I want to come by you, but I'm 14. Hard to get there. If I get close, can you meet? You say yes. Take a look. I'll continue, OK? You say, how is school going for you? Why is mom being like that to you, followed by a picture of you? Hi, I cannot wait to see you. What door do you come out of at Nina High School? I need to know, ASAP. You need to make up what you're going to take with you the day we go. I'm telling her my friend needs for a couple days. What is mom going to think when you have sex with me? Kind of changes everything you just told us, Tommy. You stupid ass isn't fucking paying attention to what? I said, did what you told me and called you if I had any questions. Like you told me last time, I, I had to do a call and I, I talked to them. The detectives leave a long silence to make it uncomfortable and get the suspect to speak. It works. But he continues to deny. I I tried to talk to you last time and try to get you help with this issue. But what I'm saying, I'm not fucking Facebook page. I didn't fucking think about the Tommy. What you're saying. No, you didn't. Because you're asking about school. She asked you about pick her up because she's 14. She can't drive. She said that straight up in that. Read it. It's right here. You can't drive. I'm 14. And you said, yeah. I'm going to be honest. I thought you were just kidding about that. Because mm -hmm. the picture she sent me looks a lot older. You know how many times a guy sat in front of me and said that before? Hundreds as an excuse. No, I'm saying she, hundreds of times. She's tall and that. skinny. She looks old in, in both pictures. Tommy. If you, did you see the pictures she sent I me? I saw the pictures. The one with the one in the one Yes. It's about from here to here. You can't tell how tall she is. And girls are skinny in high school. That makes no sense, what you're saying. It's a great shot and an excuse to try to get out of this, but it doesn't make any sense. But what I'm saying that the pictures I saw online of her thinks she's tall. No, she's not. She's about five foot tall. That's how tall she is, Tommy. 
Okay, the one in the picture is not meal. The meal, child. we've met her before. But I'm saying that when she took in the picture of the meal, she looked taller by that picture. I thought it was somebody I could trust. That was 14. But when we started talking, I, I wasn't taking her serious. Well, you did by the time you made your way up here and continued to talk to her. You took her very serious. I took the alcohol and drug thing more serious than anything. Well, the time that changed. You talked a lot about having sex with her and having babies with this 14-year-old. That's why we're, we're here. We just, Tommy, we need to get past the whole, oh my God, you're in trouble thing. We need to get, we need to get you some help. Oh, another classic. We're here to help you, Spiel. Figure this out. Because just like last time when I was sitting in this exact seat, we had this conversation, right? Where I, we can I, I did, say something? I did my best, buddy, to get out there and say, hey, I think you have some issues with s sexual stuff, you know, with having a, an attraction to younger girls, right? We had that talk. Okay? I, can I say something? You can. I'm stupid. I know I should pay more attention now. <laughs> but uh, next time I'm going to start <laughs> doing what I know is right. And, <laughs> what about my if she said she had a drug and alcohol problem? She never said that. So She next, said she liked party. Next excuse, because she never said that. She, she said she liked party in drinking. That doesn't sound like a drug and alcohol problem. When you drink, she said she liked drinking and partying. Do you see why we're having a really hard time but saying said, everything you're saying to but us? But she <laughs> said she liked drinking and partying. Yeah. That... That, to me, that doesn't mean she has a drug and alcohol problem, and to me, that doesn't mean that you should have to walk from Indiana to Wisconsin to try to help her with her because she likes to go drink every once in a while and go to a party. But what does make sense to me, okay, is you come all the way up here to have sex with her, like you mentioned a number of times in your conversation. The detective is taking apart Jenkins' narrative and replacing it with his own hoping Jenkins will agree to it if he repeats it enough. This is the sixth or seventh time he's said this narrative to Jenkins, and he will continue on until the point on which Jenkins agrees. This tactic frequently does work, because the building pressure ends up causing people to admit to things, even if they didn't do it, not saying Jenkins didn't do this. That makes sense, because I know your history, and I know what you're capable of, okay? That makes sense to me. When you talk about getting her a vibrator, you want her to send you videos, you want to put it inside her vagina with no condom on, so it's wet. Cause Cause that cause, that cause, hey, because it gets wetter when she's... Because that one we were talking about having kids and stuff. Yeah, do you think it's okay to have a kid with a 14-year-old? No. So why'd you walk all the way up here to do that? Because when we first start talking, all right, well, okay. and I'm going to tell the truth, listen. I thought, okay. And then I did when I, when she said she was 14, I was all the way on the way back up here. The detective acts fed up with Jenkins' excuses and shifts in his chair to leave. At this, Jenkins admits that he knew before he arrived that she was 14, and yet he still continued. This confession will land him in trouble, but Jenkins is hoping that admitting to a lesser version of the supposed crime will help him get away. Perfectly played by these detectives. Okay, so you're part way up. I was almost all the way up here. Okay. And then you found out she was 14, and then what? And then we started talking about that um, stupid shit, and then like, oh my god. stupid shit, remember that? You gotta tell me what you're talking about. Having kids, dating, and stuff like that. Yep. So I kind of went, okay. I don't know what way to take serious in my brain, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Then I, I kind of looked at some of the stuff she was saying. Okay. So, at what point then did you realize she was 14? When you were, what, where were you when you realized she was 14 on your trip? Do you remember? It was like a day in, a couple days in? When I realized she was younger, what she said, we're towards the end of the conversation today. When I went back and read some of the stuff we were talking about, it wasn't making sense at that point. What part wasn't making sense? 
Who not when they give me your address and stuff like that? Okay. I thought I would come and talk to him. Because that's what we talked all day. You know what I mean by that? I, I had a feeling something was wrong. But I didn't put two and two together until I almost got there. Okay. So, you, you were kind of thinking something was weird. Because half the stuff she sent me, I was walking. I would just glance over it and then we spot. Okay. Well, there's some pretty detailed responses. Like but the so details stuff like that. were just in the last two days. Well, How long was your trip to get up here? When did you leave? I was only about three days. Three days? Three or four days, yeah. So how far did you walk? Halfway, and then I got a, the church helped me get a great hometown ticket to Milwaukee. So did you get out of Indiana walking? Like yeah. Like you walked all the way halfway through Indiana? Yeah. And then the church got you a ticket from where? Chicago to Milwaukee? Um, from, it was about probably five miles off the border, six miles. That's appalling. People helped him out of the kindness of their hearts because they thought he needed help, but really he was just trying to meet an underage girl. These are the people who ruin kind deeds for the people who really need it. Disgusting. You made it quite a way. Yeah. You're motivated, man. Are you tired? I slept some, but... <laughs> but the conversation didn't really get serious until I got up here. I mean, you're pretty motivated, though, to get up here. You know, I mean by motivated, right? Like yeah. You were really determined, like you really wanted to get up here. But so I, had, why is that? I had other points to get her down there. I wasn't going to tell her why. To get her down there? To get her help. That's what I'm going to do. Get her help? For what? Because she says she like drinking and stuff. How's the vibrator going to help her with drinking? But I was saying, we started so talking. You're pregnant. I, we just started talking about that when I was up here. No, you didn't. Again. Let's stop the line and come back to what's real, okay? The sex talk started about two and a half days ago. And that was why I was up here. You know, when you were in Indiana still, you were talking about sex. I was up here for the last two days. I have all the messages. I know everything that happened, okay? Well, I'm saying you said in, in Indiana, I've been up here for about three days. Tommy, it wasn't very long after you guys started talking that you started talking about sex, okay? I mean, was she really cute? Is that why? The picture she sent me, yeah. I thought she was older than what she was, like I said. But you wanted to have sex with her. I thought we could... I looked at the pictures, and it's honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, I went, okay, she looked old, old enough to date and stuff like that. She's attractive. Yeah, by the pictures. Right. That's what I would think, okay, she old, the pictures look old enough. Well, she said she's 14, but still, she's attractive, so I get it. The second detective is trying to get Jenkins to admit he did find the underage girl attractive, pretending to understand why Jenkins talked to her the way she did. Detectives use this tactic to pretend to understand the suspects, which makes the suspects more willing to talk since they don't feel so alone in their depravity. Well, I, before she told me she was 14, I looked at the pictures on Facebook. That's what I was looking at. That's what I'm saying. And and then we start talking about stupid shit, like this stupid shit, I should have I should known that all. Yeah, because she was 14, so... But, but so you thought about it, right? You thought like, hey, this is kind of, feels kind of wrong talking to a 14-year-old about it, is that what you mean? I thought about what I was saying now, waiting for a ride. Yeah, I was spilling back through stuff she was saying. But here we are. You know what I mean? Here we are. But you mean when I was saying the gas station? Is that what I thought thinking about more what she was saying? And putting two and two together. I guess what I find most concerning is the fact that I mean you called her, you said you're gonna be a like a father to her. And then you get into wanting sex with her. Because she's young, and you knew that. 
you know, like, well, it'll be, you know, we'll get you tested in case you're pregnant. I want to find out about that. You know, I'll be the best dad you ever had. You'll be mine forever. And that reminds me a lot of Izzy and Lily. But when we first started talking, she was saying she didn't have a dad in her life and stuff like that. And then they got serious after that. Okay. Then when we start talking about everything else. So here's when sex first came up, okay? As a reminder to you. Have you ever had sex with a friend at school or at, at a party? You said that. So she never brought up sex. You brought, she, up, you, she, you, come on, you brought it up. And she said, yeah, I have. You asked how many times? So when I was in high school, Okay. I know about parties and stuff and people bring me parties. And sure. That's what I was asking. Yeah. Because I was in 11th grade. It gets pretty wild at high school parties, right? Especially 11th and 12th grade. Well, all the way, all the grades are pretty crazy. They throw some pretty crazy parties. I never they? had that when I was in 9th and 10th grade. No. Well, anyways, go ahead. And, like I said, is I should have thought about it when she was talking about some of that stuff. Yeah, I'd say. But I was trying to get up here because I won't give her help for the um, party and stuff like that. Tommy, 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 I'm reading some of these and now, oh, man. I wish you'd tell me the truth. Let me in I'll tell you what I'm doing about. Here it is. All right, I'll read you this one, okay? What do you do? With your mom at night. That's what you said. She said, hang on sometimes. She work, She works sometimes, so there's some nights I don't see her. That's what this 14-year-old said. You said, what grade are you in? And she said, nine. How old were you in ninth grade? I was a little, I was a little bit older. I was si almost 16. Okay. So you're a little older, so that would make her, good math, probably 14, right? I was 16. All right. But anyway, she, she, she told you she was in ninth grade. And she told you she was 14. Then, you said, yeah, at your age, I was 15 when I got the first DUI. And that's at the very beginning. You knew damn well she was 14 years old. So do not sit here and lie to me again. You got it? Yeah, but That's what? it. No. no. No more yeah buts. Yeah buts are out the fucking window now. Okay? The yeah buts are done from here on out. There are so many times where she tells you she's 14 and you say, yeah, at your age I was 15 when I got the first DUI. Check. What grade are you in? Nine. All I'm saying, talk to me before you do something you will regret when you hit the age of 18. You knew she wasn't even 18. You said it in your text. You're nodding because you know. You're nodding because you're agreeing with me. You're nodding because you're realizing, man, that it's up. I mean, now it's time to be honest and talk to us about what really happened here. Because okay. guess what? This is the last time you get to talk to us, and this is the last time I'm going to sit down and talk to you, probably ever, okay? This is your last opportunity to tell us the truth. Where everything that's in here, that's telling me all the information I really need, I don't really need to fucking talk to you, because I have everything. But you're going to continue to lie. No. So this is your chance to tell us the truth. This is it. Okay? Are you ready to do that? Yes. This is the point in the interrogation where the detective confronts Jenkins with the chat logs and his lies from earlier. They use this point of stress to tell Jenkins what he did and get him to admit to the crime. So start talking. Tell us the truth. What do you got? Okay. When we first started talking, I was working. When the first time she Facebook me, I was working with my uncle. Okay. I did the same thing I did the whole time when I was on the trip. Later we will read some of it, talk to her about things. I should have known being stupid. Did you know she was 14? When she said she was 14, I, I should have thought about that and I did not. Yeah, because she said it. You said you're not even 18 yet. All I'm saying, talk to me before you do something you'll regret when you hit the age of 18. 
you knew she was an 18. You just typed that out and sent it to her. I thought about that day when I read back what she was saying with the whole conversation. That doesn't make any sense. You walked hundreds of miles, hitchhiked, didn't eat. You traveled three states to get here. You didn't just think about it in the last two hours. No, I thought about it more what I'm saying when I went back and read what we were putting. What I'm saying. I what do you think about this? Because I'm just about done talking. Can, I just, can you say, okay, when I, when I went back today, when we started talking today, this morning, when we started talking, what I do, I go back and read stuff and things like that. Okay, but here's the problem. You just said you just didn't even mind any of it. Now you're telling me you had an entire re-evaluation of the entire conversation and had this poof, oh wow man, what am I doing here? I just walked hundreds of miles, didn't eat, spent all my money, begged for bus tickets, got a ride with the pastor. Dude, it's not adding up. Okay, calm down, tell me before I start yelling. Okay. Go ahead, yell. I don't, I don't give a shit. I'm ready for the truth. If you need to yell to tell me the truth, then yell to tell me the truth. Because what you're giving me right now okay, doesn't was, make any sense. Okay. I could be your dad, you say. I said, oh, the undercover says, oh, oh. Whoopsie. You slipped up there, detective. He's not supposed to know it's an undercover. You told him earlier you were going to confront her, too. Better hope he's too stressed to catch what you said. I would have been the age of 18 years old when you was born. Cool, told you I could be your dad. You need a dad in your life. I would be a good stepdad to you and we would do most of the stuff you do now. I'd, touch, I'd wipe you down there, make sure you're good down there. She says, I don't drive though, I'm only 14. Too much party can get you in trouble with the law at that age. Tommy, you understand we know everything that was said, right? Yes. Okay. So, when we say we're, we're getting done talking with you, 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 you can't continue to make excuses for your behavior. You, you knew what was going on. You, you planned. I mean, you're able to get from Indiana to an address in Mina to meet a 14-year-old girl. And you knew she was 14, you continued to communicate, but we want to know what's going through your head, why you're doing this. I mean, if there's attraction to younger females, what the, we know what happened. He's showing you what's happening. You know, it's, we're here. The, the I, I don't know, the, the I went off the age of the face, oh, she looked older, that, that doesn't fly, okay? And we can't continue to say that that's not true and give you the truth in your text messages. We can't continue to do that. This is your opportunity to explain why you're that determined to take the trip you did to come up here and, and meet this 14-year-old. And it's not to save her from a drug problem. Okay. That's not it. A couple of days after we started talking, Probably a day and a half. And then we talked about the party and stuff. The rest of it was on the trip uphill. That doesn't make any difference. That way it started getting serious, and I, I was like, okay. And then I kept, we thought, I'm, I mean, I should have said something else now, thinking about it. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm stupid. People make mistakes, dude. They really do. Detective Hammond and I have made mistakes all the time. And you made a big one today, over the past four days, five days, whatever it's been. Okay? So talk to us about the mistakes, okay? That's what we're here. What happened when you pulled into the lot? What were you feeling right when the pastor was dropping you off? I thought I could help her and stuff like that. That was what me and Pastor talked about, you know what I mean? You talk to the pastor about the other things you're talking about? No, I didn't tell him about her Facebooking me. But you didn't talk about having kids with her and buying her vibrators and... 
We need to start talking about that stuff to the end. And you're going to be your dad and have sex with her? Did you tell him what you saying with her a picture of a penis? We started talking about it towards the end when I started feeling something was wrong. And then he just dropped you off? He just said to go talk to her. And then I was feeling. Now when I thought, okay. So when you said to her, we will have sex as soon as you get here, and you will not want to stop at all, you will not have no clothes on. It will not be like you ever had it before. Doesn't sound like second guessing to me. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't start thinking. I didn't start second guessing myself till I got clothes. And you said, I will not have not one thing on it down there when it is inside your vagina. What other parts have you had it in? Have you ever had it a toy inside you or a vibrator on the outside? Hmm. No, it happened, Tommy. But when I started saying guess myself, it probably about 10, 20 minutes when we were driving. All right, so you, okay, that makes sense. So you knew what you were doing was wrong the whole way, and then you started thinking about it once you got close. You got a little nervous about it. Is that what happened? Yeah. Okay. So you knew she was 14. Yes or no? By what she was saying, yeah. Okay. The detective gives in here to what Jenkins has been saying, that he started feeling off about it right before. However, using this, he gets Jenkins to admit that he knew the whole time that what he was doing was wrong. And he knew she was 14. This is absolute amazing work by the detective. So you knew she was 14. You acknowledge now a little bit ago that you knew some of the stuff you were saying was inappropriate for a 14 year old, right? Yes. Okay. You, I think you probably got a little excited because she, she's attractive, right? She's good looking. And you had those thoughts of you, you wanted to have sex with her, you know, it'd be fun. And uh, I mean, inside did you think, man, this is kind of, probably the wrong thing to do, but you're still kind of excited to come up here. But then I feel like you got close and maybe you got a little nervous, right? Yeah. So you're excited to do it that whole time, but when you got closer, it was a little like, eh, I'm a little worried about it. Is that kind of what was going on? Yeah. Okay. Did you, what did you feel like talking that whole time before you got nervous? Was it kind of exciting? If I, when I thought about it, if I, could I never met her before except on Facebook. Mm -hmm. If she would have looked younger when I got there, everything would have stopped. What, the, the plan was to go, I mean, she's attractive. Guys, but, have, guys have sex with attractive females. But my, I, I saw myself on the way down to, with Pastor. To, in my brain, something wasn't right. And then I realized, think I better just talk to her. Now, what I was thinking after I read everything, I wrote to her today. Mm -hmm. And that really kind of surprised me when you guys show who came up around the corner. That would surprise me too. I get it. But you know what, Tommy? What I appreciate what you're saying right now is that you are. I feel like you know right from wrong, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like you actually feel pretty bad that you put this 14-year-old through all this stuff, right? You feel kind of bad about it, that she was exposed to that picture, and that you said some of the things that you said to her? Yeah. When she's so young? I mean, that's not fair, is it? No. Because, you know, young girls like that don't always make the best decisions. And honestly, man, we're ha we're just happy we we were able to step in and help you not make a mistake or to help her so that nothing happened, you know. But that was, I'm good. Well, my plan was when I read over everything, what we learned today, what I was reading, and I feel like there's something wrong. Towards probably half hour getting to the nail. Well, it's a good thing we showed up because then we stopped what was going to happen. No, because my plan was to just talk to her. 
and then in public like she wanted to meet. But, you know, we work on certain cases where can people I, can, can you travel. Finish? This will let me finish quick. And you know what? Every single one of them, when we get communications with a, a child that's 12, 13, an adult talking to them and they want to meet them to have sex, you know what? Every single one of them sitting in that chair where you are says, I, I just was going to talk to them. I just going to make sure everything's okay. I just wanted to help them. But I'm, what I'm you, saying, you know that? Yeah, but Every I'm, one of them. But what I'm saying, can I finish what I'm going to say? Go ahead. When I thought thinking about it, and if I were to realize she was younger, and what, if I was out there, I would end up backing out. Okay. I only made my mind up there. Because when I started thinking about it, something wasn't right. Okay. What was your original plan to come up and have sex with her? The original plan to come up and help with the party and the alcohol. Then we start talking about everything else. So when 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 did it change to you? You guys having you guys the plan was to having sex with her. When did that change? When we start talking about the guy she was with. Okay, so that's when the whole plan changed then to having sex. And I know there's a lot of talk about having a family together. Yes. Right. How many kids did you want? She said a lot. I, I said like five or six. Five or six. Yeah, and you're pretty savvy because you want to use like cloth diapers, right, or something like that. Cloth diapers are cheaper than diapers. That's very economical. Wow. That's good. I used to have to buy them a lot. Okay, kudos to the detectives to pretend to be on Jenkins' side with the cloth diapers. While I think cloth diapers are cheaper, the thought of him having access to children that need their diaper change sickens me. Please lock this man up forever. Oh my gosh, these poor children. I gotcha. Okay. I mean, did you, like, so would you have married her eventually? Like, when she turned 18, would you have waited the four years to marry her, or would you have tried to do it right away? I would have waited. I, I would have probably ended up quit talking to her since she was 18. Because I got one on Facebook. I blocked the whole. You seem like you really love her, Tommy. Do you, do you love her? This is the first time I have a medal. I know, but I'm just going through the conversation. It seems like you really love her. How we were talking, yes. Yeah. But like I said, I should have been more careful. Like. Well, people make mistakes. Um, and yeah. when, and when, when you're in love and you love somebody and then you throw sex in the mix like that, just like we talked about last time, those are really hard things to turn off. Right? Yeah. Love and sex basically run this world. Enough that you would start walking hundreds of miles. I mean, that's love when you're willing to walk the Midwest. The detective is using love as a justification for Jenkins to latch on to the reason he did it. If he feels justified in his actions, he's going to be more willing to confess to them. You know? I still listen to my mom. What did your mom say? She was saying we should have brought her down there and worked with her. Well, I know she, yeah, because she was wondering where you were at. Because my mom said we could we, we bring her down and work with her together. Down back to Indiana? We will pay for her to come down now. Here to come down. And if she needed help, I will get her in the program. So would you have had sex up here? You got had that relationship and then gone back? Or were you just gonna have sex and then go right back? When I first talking to all. No, I wanna know just in general, like, was that the plan? The plan said, was, as soon as you got up here, you're going to have sex with her. The plan was, when I left Indiana, and then me and my mom talked about this, to bring her back down and get her help. Then it got more serious on the way up here. Why is his mother enabling this? She has to know about his prior arrest. How could she even provide that as an option? Sickening. After I left my mom. Then when it started getting more serious. 
Well, based on the messaging, got serious right away. I think before you left. I left probably a day after I started talking to all. Yeah, and you guys started talking about sex right away. And it's, dude, it's okay if that's the if that was your driving force up here. I'm not sitting here judging you. Like I get it, dude. This hot chick. I told was him. gonna have sex with you, so you said, "Yeah, I'm getting out of Indiana." Wisco, here I come. I, I understand you. that, but the whole rehab thing is bullshit because a girl that says she drinks every once in a while and goes to parties, I could probably pick up half of any high school and they're all going to parties, and not one of them is going to rehab or has a problem. But all the conversation I had ain't on them with to to her yet, but not to my family. I, I really don't care about your conversation with your family. I care about the conversation you had with this fourteen-year-old girl. It's okay, man. You can let let it out. Just like last time. I felt like we made progress last time talking to each other, right? Yeah. I'll feel a little better after that. Yeah. I'll you kind of got some of that stuff out. I'm just starting to feel stupid now. I should have known better. Well, I think you were, I think you made a stupid decision. I think you, I think you, yeah, you made a big mistake. Okay. But again, sex and love really pushed you in the wrong direction this time. I mean, you found out she was 14, you still want to come up here. You know, I don't know. I was only on the way up here when I found out she was 14. No, Tommy, she told you she was 14 right away. The third thing that was said was your ages. Okay? The night we started talking. She said she was 14. I saw it already. I know, but I was already on the road when she, because I looked at my mom and said, I think you could help her. And I left that night. You didn't need to rewind. That doesn't make any sense. So you, you were on the road before you found out she was 14, you're saying? Yes. That's false. Because you would have had to be on the road before the conversation started. Because she said right away she was 14. And you didn't leave until the next day. I, I know you're trying to concoct this. No, I'm right saying, now, I'm trying to think. I left shortly after we started talking to each other. I don't know if it was the next day or the same day. Now realize what's going to happen here, okay? Because we're going to get information from your cell phone to include everywhere you were and what times you were there. So when things don't add up a lot like your story isn't, it's in peace. I think you're being truthful in some stuff, which we appreciate, okay? But we're going to know everywhere you were and what time, what day. Then we're going to take the conversation. So here's going to be day and time, and then we're going to see exactly what you said and where you were, okay? A lot of conversation was in Indiana. Mm-hmm. That's because you were walking. Yeah. Like you're, you've got right. initial, yeah, we know that, right? Yeah, we knew that. A lot of it was in Indiana. Sure. So you, that's when you, and I think that, and that's, is that when you guys started talking about sex when you were in Indiana? When we were on the way, I was up. Uh, on your way through Indiana, so yeah. we talking. Okay. Okay. So, so that you knew she, and you knew she was fourteen then. Okay, and then and then. But yeah, when she started talking about she had sex with older guys, I kind of overruled that, and then I should have not know. You should say that again. You should what? When she when she said she dated twenty to thirty year old, something like that. I overruled the, um, the beginning of it, you know what I mean by that? I don't know. When she said she did 20 to 30 years old, mm -hmm. I should have thought about that more. You should have done a lot of things more. That's why what you're telling us is just not making sense because you're, you're 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 telling us everything you can ask me because i'll be honest with you you didn't pay me i know i know man but you keep coming up with new stuff when we start talking i was at work hey tommy i know 
But, dude, here's the thing. Every time we ask you about something, you're not, you're just throwing to the side. Okay, you're not taking... I'm taking this seriously now, but I'm not. You're not. At some point, when you do something wrong, you have to acknowledge that. I know I did wrong, since I know... What did you do wrong? Tell me everything you did wrong. This whole, from start to finish, what did you all do wrong? Talk about sex and all that kind of stuff. Why is that wrong? I should have had the hint when she said he was 14 and not pay attention to the Facebook page. That was my first mistake. Tommy, you didn't just read the Facebook page. No, but when I said in here that you knew she wasn't over 18. But when I first... I don't care what at first. I'm telling you. I, I want to know what you think you did wrong. I know I talked... I see you've been talking about sex with all and having kids and stuff like that. Why? When I thought about, I, when I, towards the end. No, why should you not have talked about sex with her and sent her pictures like that? Because I realized how stupid I was when I started reading stuff back to myself. Well, why was it stupid that you said that stuff? Because then I realized she was not kidding about old age. Mm -hmm. And then when I realized she wasn't kidding after I started reading stuff back. Makes sense, Tommy. You knew she was 14 and realized what you're sending maybe shouldn't have. The detectives used this tactic to have the suspect tell what crimes they committed and what their mindset was at the time. This helps disprove defenses that the suspect was not in a culpable state of mind. You felt kind of bad. Because, like I said, I went back and read most of what we talked about. I was just sitting in the truck stop. Mm -hmm. Then that one started making more sense. Right. No, I get you. Because I didn't really put two together while right I was on the road. Hmm. What do you mean by that? Two and two? Sure, two and two. I just got a couple messages. You want to know what my two and two together is? Is you got a message from a 14-year-old who you knew was 14. She was attractive. And you started talking about sex. And you got so excited, one way or another, you were going to meet her. That's my two and two. And hey, she was good looking. And I don't know, I don't know how many times you've had sex in the past or not, but if someone offers that up, you're going to travel from Indiana by foot, by bus, however you're going to do it. That's, yeah. that's kind of what it looks like to me, and you went through with it because you were right standing where she was. I started putting two together when we were going to the gas station and at the um, quick um, truck stop. In some way, do you think that makes what happened here today okay? No. So why do you keep telling us that? I'm just saying, I should have been thinking about that from the beginning. Well, yeah, you should have realized what you were doing was wrong from the beginning, but I think you were blinded by the fact that you were going to have sex with this girl. I mean, I was, because how were we talking to each other? Mm -hmm. The detectives use another bout of silence to get Jenkins to admit to the crime. You know, like I said, I'm stupid. I should have paid more attention. That's stupid. People make mistakes, Tommy. I should have about what she told me yesterday about what was on the Facebook. No, that... You need to drop that. But I'm just saying I should have by what she told me. Yes, you said it yourself that she wasn't 18, so you knew that. You can't keep going back to that, okay? That, that doesn't make any sense. You have messages in there that clearly show you knew she wasn't 18, that she was younger. When we first started talking, I, I should have thought about it. Yeah, and then the conversation got more and more serious. I tell myself I should think about things before I make mistakes as well, but you know what? It happens. Now here we are talking about it. You know what's most concerning to me though, dude? Is that this seems a lot like the things you were
were saying, the things you wanted to do? Because it got more serious when she said she dated a like older guys. Mm -hmm. That one I was, we started talking about sex and stuff. Yeah, I know, that's pretty serious, having sex with a young girl, for sure, man. But like I said, what, what kind of bothers me is that well, the, things, mean, the things you were saying about being her stepdad and having her forever and taking her and when we start talking, and having sex with her, when we, it reminds me a lot of the so When we started talking, we talked about our dad and stuff. And yeah. she, and then after that, I, we talked about sex and stuff, and I should have thought about it. And that's the truth. So, so what's, what's the deal? Like, you just attracted to younger kids? I mean, is that something? Everybody's into different stuff. I mean, I, uh, it, it's nothing. I we don't judge. We don't judge anybody. I was I mean, attracted to the pictures I've seen before. But like all kids or no, I'm boys, pictures. girls. What 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 what? what kind the of pictures I saw. I was attracted to the pictures I was seeing first. Is there an age range you like? Maybe they were eighteen. Normally, but sometimes younger. I was, the the one mistake I made is when I was. Of 18, I, and she turned, uh, she was 17 a day before me, you know what I'm saying? Turned, I turned 18 and she did. You know what I mean by that? Mm -hmm. And we, my mistake is when I told her I only did 18 years, and then we started talking about more stuff. He brought up and now the, why we're here today, but that that's a, we, we got a two-year-old, a nine-year-old, a 14-year-old. I, I mean, if you're attracted to younger people, that's... No, the detective brings up Jenkins' past cases here where he was inappropriate with real children. They are hoping through the rapport building and confrontation of earlier that Jenkins will admit to the things he did with this nine-year-old. They will go on to use the understanding tactic, the tell us your story tactic, and the I'm leaving if you don't tell us the truth tactic in this segment. I don't know what to do with my stepdaughters and stuff. Yeah, you care about them and you like them. Have you talked to them since? I can. Do you think you talked to anybody else about what happened with you two? I hear things, they tell them people they're missing me and stuff, and that's all I know. Well, I can tell you that the secret you want her to keep may not be a real secret so much anymore, just so you're aware. How does that make Because at first she said, Tommy told me not to tell, tell you anything because he'd get in trouble. Well, Tommy went away for way too long, and now he not Tommy anymore. Talk to us and tell us everything that happened. I do care about them. Mm -hmm. Do you see my Facebook page how many times I brought them up? Well, what is she going to tell us that happened now? I don't know. Really? You better keep secrets from the cops. That's not good. Only thing we ever told her, me and her mom, to tell about giving her bath and stuff. It was just about you, Tommy. It was only you. But I'm saying, the only time I ever told her not to say anything is when her mom told me to, to not, we shouldn't say anything about giving her bath. Kind of like that night in Oshkosh. That came up in the laundry room. See, so getting a little nervous. I would be too. Well, I was. I'm not going to be quite in trouble. What happened that night? I already told you guys that. Well, you told us your version, you told us parts, but now we got some more. Once the secret was no longer kept, that changes things, Tommy. But I do have in that bath and what happened down there. You want to retry? I'm telling you about what happened down there. OK, 
because she's going to tell us in detail. And we know some stuff now. So do you want to be honest with us and tell us what happened down there? I will be honest. What happened down there? No, you weren't. We'll give you one more chance. When she rubbed against me down there, in the bathroom, when she asked me for toilet paper and stuff, mm -hmm. I was all the kind of horny already. Mm -hmm. Because I was watching porn and stuff before I went down to do laundry. When she was, when she grabbed a hold of me and it helped, I was all in morning and things like that. Mm -hmm. And that when they heard us talk about different stuff, and that when it went sideways on me. What do you mean by that? Explain that. When she would start sitting on my lap, more and stuff like that. Was that exciting? I mean, did you enjoy that? I was there a couple of times. I didn't really look at that sexual, well, sexual at the time. But then it kind of changed. But in the basement, you were horny with her. I was horny before I went down. Okay, and then you were horny down there. I didn't plan on her going down with me. She asked to go down with me. Okay, so then what happened? She said she had to go to the bathroom. Okay. I, took, I let her go into the um, maintenance bathroom. Then she didn't, there was no toilet paper where she could see it. And she knew I was upset, so she grabbed a hold of me. Like she normally would. Where did she touch you? She knew me, she would grab me right in this area, because she was sitting down. She leaned like this. Like in your privates? My little chest in this area, yeah. Because okay. she was sitting down. Then what happened? I gave her the toilet paper, and that when they must heard about what we were talking about and everything. Yeah, you were saying some graphic things a lot, like what you're saying to this 14 year old. But I never I was in the Mally Hall. Because I was too much of that. Did you? Okay. Which is fair, because she's a little bit younger. Okay. But the talk, like the sexual talk you had with her was. We already talked about witches and stuff, but we're on over and over and Yeah, but down in the laundry room, I'm talking about the stuff that that person heard and told the And you're breathing hard, making sex noises. And she had to actually clean off herself, leaving something like that. Mm -hmm. I would put you hard the, the whole day. You know, Tommy, 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 Tommy. No, this is your last chance, man. I, I'm just gonna walk out, to be honest with you. Over it. Okay, when we finally went down and did laundry, mm -hmm. I was playing with myself upset because they were sleeping. Okay. They both were asleep. At least I thought she was asleep. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. we told them to take a nap. Okay. So I got on the computer and thought, okay, I'll turn the computer and watch a little porn while they ain't awake. And I was doing laundry at the time. And I told Melissa if she could go with me. <coughs> so she went down with me. And we just started talking about everything. About what we're doing and stuff and how she was feeling different things and how and how I was feeling. Now mm -hmm. that conversation got started. Then it didn't help when she grabbed onto me and I was all in morning. Okay. So then what? She went in the bathroom. No, when she grabbed onto you all your horny. She I got a little toilet paper, she wiped, and then we went she kept giving me hugs and we we went into London shortly after the act. What else happened? Then all and then I picked her up like I normally would. That's not what someone heard. Someone heard different, Tommy. 
But what I'm saying, this is what happened when I, what we talked about down there. I know what the police report says. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what she's saying, I'm going to let you out of her life, and she doesn't care about you anymore. She doesn't have to protect you anymore, and I think she's pretty happy about that. She doesn't have to deal with the fact that the things that you've done to her. Can we talk and about this more? And the pain that you put her through, and the fact that she doesn't have to live this life where She's scared of you and having to keep secrets for you and feel bad about herself. I can't wait to see what she says, actually. It's not a good way if you're looking out to help kids, to have them scared to death. is not a good way to keep secrets on what happens. You think that's true? How do we do? We still talking. We still talking. We need me to stop talking about what was going on. Yeah. Are you being honest? I wasn't at the beginning. Now I'm trying to. Do you remember Chris? Yeah. He made me nervous last time. Yeah, because he's tall. Am I making you nervous now? I'm so oh. bad this time. All right. You can just be honest with them, okay? I feel better if you was in here, but I know you. I'm sorry. I said I feel better if it was you in here. Well, I can, I'm standing right here. I'm not going anywhere. The detective stays to appease Jenkins, so hopefully he will talk since he's more comfortable. Can we talk about what happened in this case? We know what happened in this case. Huh? Yeah, we, know we don't need to. We don't need to go over it. We have all the evidence we need. We have we saved a 14-year-old girl today. But when I was just telling them, when I was on the way to hell, I thought about that. Okay, and that's fine. I mean, we we don't need to talk about this case. This case is pretty open and shut. But what I'm saying, when I was my pastor was bringing me. Yeah. I was reading some of the stuff when I was sitting at the truck stop. Okay. I think you need to get back to what you were just talking about. But what I'm saying, with this case, I was telling you, when I started talking about it, like I told him, we will talking about the 15 or 20 minutes before I got there. Okay. So are you ready to talk about what actually happened in the laundry room? In the laundry room. Are you ready to talk about what actually happened down there? And what you guys were actually doing together? Or is it a matter of us having to just go talk to her now? Since she's kind of over you and all that. When me and the door, please. When me and stuff in the basement. Like I said, I was already 40. And she grabbed on me, and of course, me being spent when we went to now, grabbed her when I should have when she was naked. And, and do I normally do hold her tight and stuff like that, and put, grab a hold of her like I would normally do. Especially when I was upset and dumb. That day I was upset. Because I was, did talk to my mom the night before. And that didn't help you. And tell when I was upset and stuff. And she knew how to calm me down. I'm just taking deep breaths. And the 
as she jumped up on me, I grabbed her like I would normally do on the butt and stuff. Another round of silence, and Jigen admits to touching an underage child on the rear. Then I started calming down. They were just going at me. I hate the silence. Well, you're the one who's talking, Tommy. Tommy, we, we gave you a chance to be honest last time, and we're trying to give you a chance to be honest here. I'm, like it said, when I said, Tommy, you, you touched those girls, and you were sexually aroused. You came up here, you were going to touch this girl. She was 14. But when I explained to them... No, no, there's no yeah. more explaining. There's no more yeah, making I'm up excuses. But what I'm saying, when I well, talk... Tommy, you have a problem. We talked about this. No, can you see this? What I just told no, them? No, we don't. Because we, we go in a cycle where you tell us what, what you think we want to hear, no. but not the truth. No, but I'm telling you, when I would write my past on, on the way down. I'm not listening to it anymore. All right, we're done. No, I thought about it. Time is 7.05. You're going to get transported up to Brown County? Why Brown County? Because that is uh, where the federal uh, holding facility is. I'm getting charged with federal? Yep. Well, you're you're you getting... came from a different state to meet a girl, so. Yeah, federal indictment. She's 14, so you're being federally indicted on numerous charges. So you're not going to be here. Just have a seat. Uh, the officer's going to come back. He's going to transport you up there, okay? You may have a chance to talk to somebody else at some point. I would suggest that you to be honest with them, more honest than you've been with us, okay? Like I said, I was being stupid. when I, I should have put two things together when she told me our age, and I wasn't doing that. Yeah, but this, you know, this is, we keep going oh, through no. this, man. This hey, nine you. years old, ten years old. Hey, you've now... Tried to have sex or had sex with kids ranging from 2 to 14. All right. That's stand up. Can you put at least two on me if you want to put them behind my bag again? Put two is that a handcuff sign? Yeah. Mm, well, let's, let me look at it. Because it did pull on my shoulder. All right. Tommy would not be able to get out of trouble this time. But even after his arrest in 2011 and another arrest in September 2019 for child abduction and child sexual assault, Jenkins would get just 10 years in prison for his multi-state quest to assault a child. This interrogation was filled with tactics. Like and subscribe for more interrogation breakdown and true crime videos to come. Leave a suggestion in the comments below if you have one. Thanks and have a wonderful day.